guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do what is like a newspaper effect on a letter. So there's two different ways to do it. So the way I did it was with a mask. As you can see, it's the photos in the thumbnail and at the beginning of this video. But I was playing around and I do believe there's another way you could do this. So with another way you can do it, I'm going to show you the little fast, easy way to do it first. And then we're going to do it where it looks a little more raggedy and looks more like a newspaper. So you could also do it where you use a frame. So what you're going to do is get your text together. And then what you're going to do is download that. And then after you download it and re-upload it back into Canva, now it's a photo. So you're going to get a frame. Uh, let's change the color of this background a little bit so you can see to blue. And then I'm going to go over here to my uploads where I already uploaded some text. Where's my pictures? Oh, it's, oh, it's doing letter. Really? Okay. Okay, okay. So let me shorten this up a little bit and like so. And then we're going to wishy-washy it over here. And then I'm going to double tap that and make it bigger and try to fill up my letter. I don't have a lot of text right here because I was just like, playing around with it earlier so let's just make that smaller like so so we can get it all in there and then when you clip out of it then you have a a filled box with your text in it so if we make this bigger so you can see it let's go bigger hold on and go up that's that way so that's a little bit easier, and if you like that, you like that. Um, I kind of like the way the mask turned out. So let's delete this one. So I still have my text here. So we're going to go in. If you don't know how to make a mask, it's just a reverse background. I do have a video, How to Make Masks, and there's several videos where I've used masks before to make a mask. It is just, instead of uh, background remove, you remove the inside instead of the outside. So let's go up into my images. Let's go in here and see where I have a mask. I have all kinds of masks. But let's go to the one that's got my name in it. There it is. So this is the mask I used. So I don't want to use all of this. So the one thing I can do, I can reuse my mask for stuff. So what I want, I don't want this. And I just want the first letter of my name. So I'm going to go all the way out like so. Boom. Now just got the letter M. Da, 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 da. All right. And if you can see, my mask is a little blurry. So what I want to do is I'm going to come over here to edit image. I'm going into my adjust button and I am going to take the blur all the way out. See how that crisps that up? Nice and crispy. So, and I can see a little bit of my eye. So I want to bring that in just a smidge. And then oh, what I want to do now is I want to make it go and have all my text on the interior. And there, what we do now is we want to go up into our elements. We want to click that off there, get out of frames. I want to go and get me a square. If y'all notice, if y'all been complaining about the squares being rounded, if you notice, it's back to being a square. Yep, it is. So I want to turn that to black. I want to make a, come on. I hate that you have to click like five times to go and duplicate something. Um, I want to go down like so. I want to go over like so, and then I'm going to take this over to my background remover. Now, once I come back from a background remover, then I'm going to go in my uploads here. And we'll go back up to the top because I did this today. So they're fresh. So now I have my letter. Dun, 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 dun. That's what it looks like in, after my background remover. And also... I did one with the background remover where the letters actually came out. So if you want to kind of like put, let's, I don't know, he's just standing there. So let's move the position over on top of him. So if I sat there and make that M big like so, you could see, oh, you can see the, sort of kind of see the picture. But it's a little, as you can see, it's a little jaggy looking. But, I mean, if you want to just, I didn't really like it. So, I left it with the other stuff on there. So, let's just get rid of that one real quick. And we're going back to this. 
So I took that and, oh, we're going back down here. I'm losing myself. Here we go. Lose yourself, girl. All right. So after my background remover and we brought, came in here and did all that with our background remover, what I did for like the first one is, is I duplicated it. Let me put my concrete back there. You know me. I like my concrete. Uh, photo, photos, photos. There you are, baby. There's my concrete. I don't know. I just like the concrete for certain things. So that kind of makes it little. So what I did is I duplicated this image. Um, I went in edit image and I went down and I kind of like take the brightness down on it. So it, let's check the contrast. So I just did a little wiggling around here so I could kind of make a little bit of a shadow behind it. So for the 3D one, that's probably, that's what I did. And then I did like that and it kind of made it look a little 3D-ish. So that's how I did that one. And the other one is just almost the same thing. I just, I also did, let's go in the position of this one. I did also fade it a little bit. So you can fade that one down a little bit and kind of, why does it not look like it's fading any? Come here, give me some transparency, Canva. I want some transparency. I don't want that much transparency. All right, so let's move it back over a little bit. And that kind of almost makes it look boxy, like so. And then you can also do, what else did I do? I can't even remember. I just made these today. I just was playing around today and made these, so bear with me. I don't remember what I do. I'm sitting on the couch watching TV. But like, as you can see, I, um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah. So the other thing I did, too, is I went back in here and I went in and got my text. Let's see. Text. Add. I went in here. This was the outfit slab. Let's do it M. Let's go up here and make it capitalized. Go on effects. Make it hollow. Hello. And then we'll go. And then I covered it like so to make it have like an outline. And make sure that it cover the whole edge of it like so. Like so. And then you can thin it up if you want to. And... That's how you can do that and make that part look like that. So that was like the other thing I did. And the other one is just the same thing with the dual on the back side. I just left a little bit on the side and take my arrow key and kind of like bump it over just a little bit just to give it a hair of a shadow. And the reason I did that versus going into my shadow. So let's look at it. So if I go into my shadows and you know me, I like to do a curve. I do a curve. See how blurry it gets once I add that to it. It is like blurry. See how you can read these? And then when I add that curve to it, it is blurry. So I don't like the curve. So I made my own shadow. So I just put it over top and then you hit your, oh, come on. Come on, Canva. Just give it a couple little bumps over and that'll give you like that side shadow right there. And that's how I did those. And I thank you for stopping by. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I love you guys. It's late here. I'm tired. And I'll see you on the next one. Much love. Nighty night.